Today we're talking about pressure regulation and we're using Rainbird's PRS dial pressure regulator. So we've got this Rainbird, it's the PRS dial with pressure indicator cartridge. You can see it here, pressure regulator. That's what this little thing is here and I'm gonna show you how you put it on. You actually take the solenoid out, you put this on, solenoid then goes on top. But you see this little dial here? You can change this, go up or down, and it actually helps regulate the pressure on that zone. So we've got a zone that's messing up, so we're gonna try this here today. So what we've got to do first is you, you need to shut the water off. Since this valve has flow control, then I'm gonna just screw the flow control all the way down. Because I've got to take the solenoid out and so some water is going to come out of there, but not a whole lot since I've got this screwed down. Now these pressure regulators, these PRS dial, it only works on rainbirds. You got to buy the one for the rainbird. If you've got a hunter valve, they have something called AccuSync. Same premise. So this is a PEB valve. It's got their solenoid there, but this has got big big bottom to it and you can see that solenoid is small but there's another fitting in there you got to take out to get that in there so take you some little pliers take that piece out and then actually what you're gonna do is you're gonna put this now on the top of the pressure regulator make sure you don't cross thread it now our solenoid will go into here and this will screw into there Now you have to take your pressure regulator out off there to screw that in. Now you screw this in. But before you do that, take this little cap off and then turn your dial what you want your pressure to be. I want it to be closer to 40, under 50. So let's try something like that right there, right on that other line. Then you put your little cap back on there and that goes in the side now you can adjust those take that cap off and adjust them uh, you need to adjust the pressure now solenoid back in and then make sure you open up your flow control that way you've got your water back on usually what I do is come all the way open where it stops and then come off that top about a one or two turns and you're good. So now you can still open up your valve manually with the solenoid. I don't know if you can hear it opening up. Or these have a relief screw right here on top of that flow control. But you can also turn it on that way. And that water is normal when you use that relief screw to turn it on. Don't unscrew that very much. That whole thing will come out of there. All right, that should be regulated now. 
You know, another place that you can regulate the pressure is right where the drip connects to the pipe, you know, a drip stub up. Because like they say, the best place to regulate the pressure is at the head. Well, for drip, it would be where the drip connects to the PVC pipe, where you have a drip stub or drip transition point. So we could buy pressure regulators, put them on all the transition points, and that would actually work really well. Problem is, I don't know where they are. So the easiest thing for us to do is to try this. With this PRS dial, I think this is gonna work really good for us in this situation. Now, one of the ways that we've also done this is if there was a master valve, is put one of these pressure regulating dials on the master valve and it'll regulate the pressure of the whole system. It's another simple way to do it. I've done it that way before. It actually works pretty good. So again, if you're not really sure how the system was designed, you've gotta be careful regulating the pressure of the entire system. Because what you may end up with is a few zones not working quite right because you brought that pressure down too low. Of course, you've got the dial, you can adjust it, but that's just another way you could do it too.